Hey, how's it going? It's Joseph here. Here's what I want to talk about and which is mixed reality headsets and I have a Dell model here. Let's get to that. Microsoft mixed reality headsets. It has nothing to do with AR so far. It's not really mixed reality. You don't see the real world. It is basically a VR. So let's get that out of the way. And Microsoft made this design and it's reference design that has been sent out to different manufacturer and different manufacturer has done their own set of industrial design on top of it. Some may look different to the other, different color, different headband design, as well as slightly different quality and Samsung Odyssey has been known for the best quality of the pack. However, there's some downside to that. And let's also talk about quality. HTC Vive has been the best VR offer that's around and that's no doubt. I still understand that as the best quality. However, there's some downside to that, which is the mobility side. You need to carry around lighthouses as well as the tripods and you need to calibrate it when you're trying to set it up for presentation and it is not only cumbersome it is literally very heavy on top of machine that you have to carry around where on the other hand mixed reality headsets are much more mobile um, compared to HTC Vive and the mainly what I'm going to talk about today is focused on architecture or AEC industry architecture engineering and construction industry rather than the gaming world because I think there's plenty of reviews out there for gaming reviews uh, they talk about ergonomics. I'm not so concerned about it as much, as well as what I'm really concerned about is the mobility because I'm having to carry these around for my own presentation of my own design. However, HTC Vive has been really difficult to carry around and set it up and do a VR presentation. So what I'm going to more focus on is the VR workflow in architectural presentation. And the most important points are the mobility as well as the easy setup, being able to accommodate many different type of people for short time usage and quality overall. However, I'm not as concerned about quality quality as long as it gives you that immersive experience. Let me first review the Dell Mixed Reality headset and this is one here. I have few gripes about the design here. The first one that struck me was when you wear this, you look like some sort of white owl. You can get away with uh, maybe putting a black skin over it. Everything's white on the Dell headset. And I find black being most professional. However, all the materials are very nice. So for example, uh, the headbands here, this is sort of PU leather type of uh, finish where you can just easily wipe off if um, you're concerned about hygiene and mixed reality headset does this. This is a little bit foamy that is slightly different to the hairband finish and this may collect some sweat if you were to wear this and you're sweating off and for hygiene concerns I've seen VR cover out there where you are putting some sort of PU leather kind which is not absorbing any water therefore you're able to put sort of the white disposable cloth on top of it so that multiple people can use it without having a concern of of hygiene issues. I don't wear glasses therefore I have less understanding on that part but the reviews in general has been very good for the Dell one specifically. Some other ones varies accommodating uh, wearing glasses within the VR. This one yes it can accommodate a small type of glasses for you to wear inside and there's many different ways to put this on. Um, I found this method to be the best. So first you put it on against your head and then you just expand this so that you can actually go over your head and then just tighten this on the back of your head and you should be able to kind of focus and make sure you just kind of move up and down so that you find the sweet spot if your headset is on and when you're done you can just pop this out and you can just look at your screen and that's how you wear it and Dell headset offers this headband design where your headset wire is uh, clipped on like this I'm not so concerned about this because I don't use sound so often for these sort of presentation workflow so I just clipped it on like this and forgot about it and there's one wire coming off I saw some other headsets where you're able to unplug your wire which is very good for carrying around because you don't want this dangling around all the time because this is quite long 
you have one HDMI and USB 3 and make sure your computer has USB 3 connection because otherwise it doesn't work that's why this is different to other VR headsets like HTC Vive because you don't need a power it just powers on by USB 3 so there's quick review of Dell mix reality headset and just remember it only requires these two plugs for it to work I think that's a winner for the mobility setup and just to go over the controllers these two controllers also come with the headset and the difference with other controllers is that these actually light up and you can see the LED and I don't mind that as much yeah it would have been better if it was not visible to you but maybe that's the only way that these um, sensors can work and people do complain about the ergonomics VR presentation for architecture is not hours long like the gaming world for five minute ten minute quick use for getting feel of the space that's okay so I'm not so concerned about the ergonomics I do want to point out the fact that you have battery here for continuous use this is very good because you can just swap it out without charging it's one less thing to carry around if you're concerned about the charger whereas you can just carry around AA batteries and this is fine um, I think that's just design choice there and another quick point is that these actually connect through Bluetooth so your computer has to have Bluetooth built in for it to recognize these controllers it's not so much of a concern for laptops because they usually have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in but if you're actually using a PC there's pretty good chance you might not actually have Bluetooth built in so that might be something that you might want to consider but one thing I really want to complain about this is the fact that these things are quite flimsy yes um, I'm not playing sort of a game where I'm swinging this against the wall where it may break I'm actually more concerned about carrying this because if you were to carry this around there is sort of a point where you just press hard enough to snap because these don't fold down nicely you're gonna put it into a bag and then somebody sits on it and then it's just gonna snap off and that's what I'm really concerned about so I'm gonna have to think about a way to pack this nicely so that even though some pressure is applied on here that it wouldn't break so back to the mobility part so here's the plug for the mixed reality headset and this is the same for the Dell, Asus, Acer, HP, and Samsung. You only have these two to power up your headset. So let's compare it to HTC Vive. You need to power off the wall for one lighthouse and two that is across the room and the third one will be for your headset itself and the fourth one for your machine um, if it's a laptop yes you can get an hour of mileage out of it but ideally you need a power for it four power outlets that you need to set up your VR presentation whereas you just need one for your machine for this mixed reality headset and this just powers off of your machine. So mixed reality headset is far more mobile than HTC Vive. Where things are already set up, these don't make much of a difference. However, if you're having to haul around your kit, whether it be the PC or a laptop, as well as the VR headset, then the fact that you don't have to calibrate as much, as well as not connect all of those things, less wire, less clutter, less things to trip around. For me, a mixed reality headset has been the best solution for off-site VR presentation and it's been really really great and there's a slight concern about the quality so on paper HTC Vive has less resolution than the mixed reality headsets the mixed reality headsets have better resolution than HTC Vive although the pro version now has better resolution however the noticeable differences are actually the sweet spot so sweet spot is the area where you wear it and being able to focus onto the image the mixed reality headsets have much narrower area so it requires for you to move it slightly up and down to make sure that the images are in focus however it's just a initial setup reason and as long as you're focused um, things look as clear yes it is LCD screen compared to the OLED screen of HTC Vive we're not so concerned about the vibrant colors and accurate colors I'm more concerned about the overall experience so yes you lose the overall quality by moving to mixed reality however the gains on mobility part is far greater therefore I'm willing to 
trade that off. So I've been talking about all of these setups. So let me just quickly set it up and test it and show you what goes on if I were to wear the mixed reality headset. All right, so I just connected it. You can see that mixed reality portal has come up. You're actually connecting for a very first time, then it may run through some setup, but it's just easiest just clicking next. So this has popped up and I don't have any controllers connected. I'm just gonna turn them on by just pressing these buttons and it's not gonna get recognized on this machine because I haven't set up these controllers for this machine yet. So what you do is you just open this up and there's a little button, then you press that for a while. It's just like setting up your Bluetooth for any of your devices. Okay, so both of the controllers has been recognized and I can go and verify that here, right and left. I'm gonna close this because I don't need that for now. And let me just run my SketchUp model and then launch Enscape. So I have the controllers on, Enscape model loading. And it's the same model that I have been using for all the HTC Vive tests. So I'm just gonna use the same model here. So when Enscape comes on, all you need to do on SketchUp side is actually click on this VR button. So, there you go, that's on and I move the headset. I should be able to see the screen. So I'm just gonna move the Steam VR dialog away so that you see everything clear. And now everything's in focus and you should be able to see this on my view as well. So it tells me what I can do with these controllers, which is basically the same as what I had seen in HTC Vive and other controllers. So I should be able to just kind of point and be able to walk around. And because I'm sitting, I'm slightly lower than other people, but that's fine. I should be able to just kind of move around. One thing to point out is that because these controllers only recognize if these two knobs see the controller, so if they go out of the sight, then it may not be recognized or fly away. However, it does understand the orientation, therefore I can see the laser pointer even if they are outside of the range. And if I'm in a walk mode, I can just use these controllers to just kind of go up as well. Let me just turn slightly and go forwards to go up the stairs or if I'm not in a walk mode, fly mode, then I should also be able to just kind of do this. So turn around and fly up if I need to and turn around again. So I should be able to get feel of the space by doing so. Let's go over there and turn around and see what's going on here. And if I want to use a keyboard, I can just flip this up and just use a keyboard to fly around like so. So in this case, um, I can do it a lot faster moving and being able to move around. So there you go. So also using a 3D mouse, I should be able to control this. So just fly around being able to rotate. So I find this a lot useful when I'm actually moving around as well as wearing VR headsets. I can freely move around and just visually validate my space. So notice you can, you can see the controllers, but I'm still being able to just kind of fly around and see the model myself as well. And because it's a smoother control, I can see things a lot clearer. So let me just keep my head still so that it's not wobbling around your screen. That's what I had noticed. And just be able to fly around space like so. It kind of makes you feel like a Superman as well. So really there's not much of a difference between doing this and HTC Vive in terms of experience, but it makes heck of a lot of difference when you're trying to move it around. And because now I have a mobile PC set up, I have minimum of stuff where I can just go to offsite and do a VR presentation a lot easier than setting up the HTC Vive or other VR headset. So here was the uh, quick review of mixed reality headset made by Dell, but uh, just mixed reality in general. I hope you you have enjoyed this video if you liked it please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to continue to watch this type of videos and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time